In this tutorial, learn how to wire and code a Mac 72 198 digit 7 segment display with an ESP32 node MCU to display numbers. This project is perfect for beginners and DIY enthusiasts who want to add a simple visual output to their electronics projects. We'll walk you through the entire process, from setting up the hardware connections to installing the necessary libraries in the Arduino IDE. By the end of this tutorial, you'll understand how to write code that sends numbers to the display, making it easy to control and customize output on the 7-segment display. In this project, you will need ESP32 Node MCU Mac 72 198 digit 7-segment display To set up the connections between your ESP32 and the Mac 72 198 digit 7-segment display, start by linking the power pins. The provided wiring diagram will guide you in making the connections easily. First, connect the 3.3V pin on the ESP32 to the VCC pin on the Mac 7219 to supply power to the display. Then, connect the GND pin on the ESP32 to the GND pin on the display to complete the power circuit. Next, move on to the data connections. Connect the DEN pin on the Mac 7219 to GPIO 23 on the ESP32, which handles data input for the display. Then, connect the CLK pin on the Mac 7219 to GPIO 18 on the ESP32 to synchronize data timing. Finally, connect the CS pin on the Mac 7219 to GPIO 5 on the ESP32, allowing the ESP32 to select and control the display module. Once you've finished the wiring, connect your ESP32 board to your PC or laptop with a USB cable. This will power up the ESP32, which in turn will supply power to the Mac 7219 display. Next, open the Arduino IDE on your computer. Then, load the sample code provided in the video description. Make sure to select the correct ESP32 board and port in the Arduino IDE. Go to Tools, select the right board under Board, and choose the correct port under Port. This ensures the code uploads successfully to your ESP32. To use the Mac 7219 display with your ESP32 in the Arduino IDE, the first step is to install the LED control library. This library provides the necessary functions to control the Mac 72 198 digit 7 segment display and is essential for making it work with the ESP32. Without this library, you won't be able to communicate with or control the display module. To install the LED control library, open the Arduino IDE and go to the Sketch menu in the top bar. From the drop down, select Include Library, then click on Manage Libraries. This action opens the Library Manager window, where you can search for and install libraries. In the Library Manager, type LED Control in the search bar. The library by Eberhard Fall should appear in the list. Once you find it, click the Install button next to it to add the library to your Arduino IDE. After installation, you can check the Sketch Include Library menu to confirm that LED Control has been successfully added to your IDE. This will enable you to start coding for the Mac 7219 display with your ESP32. With the code provided, the Mac 7219 display will show the number 12345678 when you call the function display number 12345678. You can easily customize the number displayed by replacing 12345678 with any other number you'd like. Simply enter your desired number within the parentheses of display number, then compile and upload the code. If you encounter a compilation error like fatal error, AVR slash from space. H when compiling your code, it's likely due to compatibility issues with the LED control library on the ESP32. To fix this, locate the LED control library folder on your computer. You can usually find this folder in the Arduino slash libraries directory. Open the LED control. CPP or LED control. H file within that library folder using a text editor. Find the line that includes AVR slash from space. H, it might look like hashtag include AVR slash from space. 
H, and comment it out by adding double slashes forward slash forward slash at the beginning of the line. This will prevent the code from trying to include that file, as it's not needed for the ESP32. After making this change, save the file and try compiling your code again. Now that the code has successfully compiled without any errors, the next step is to upload it to your ESP32 board. To do this, ensure your ESP32 is connected to your computer via a USB cable. In the Arduino IDE, select the correct board and port under the Tools menu, this will ensure the IDE communicates with your ESP32 properly. Once your board and port are selected, click on the Upload button, an arrow pointing to the right, in the Arduino IDE. The IDE will begin uploading the code to your ESP32, which may take a few moments. During this process, you'll see messages in the bottom console of the IDE indicating that it's connecting to the ESP32. Once the upload is complete, you'll see a message confirming that the code has been uploaded successfully. Now, your ESP32 will start running the code, and the Mac 7219 display should show the desired output based on your code. For further clarification, we've included in-depth explanations of these features in other segments of this video series. Additionally, you'll find more code examples related to LED display projects, helping you expand your skills and explore more creative applications. If this video was helpful, please consider supporting us by liking, sharing, or subscribing to our channel. Your support allows us to keep creating valuable content and resources for our audience. Every bit of support makes a big difference, and we truly appreciate it. Thank you.